be willing to lose the relationship if that is the highest expression of what's wanted. If this form of the relationship dies, let it die. I have experienced this. When I say let it die, what I mean is to release the grip on the hold of its current expression so that the new expression can come through. And you won't see the new expression of the relationship until you let go of the old one. And so it can sometimes feel like this is the end. And in a marriage, it could be like, we're going to get a divorce. <laughs> but that's not necessarily what happens. Sometimes the power of a relationship reaching a stronghold and building something new is when both people are willing to talk about what would happen if there was a divorce so that it's not the thing that you can't mention, for example. Just in saying it, this idea of relationship being a specific way where no one can get divorced, it dies. And that's the thing that dies and that's the thing that allows the relationship to evolve because you're no longer afraid of divorce, because you can talk about it with your partner and have an honest conversation that no marriage reaches 25 years without talking about divorce and stays healthy. No marriage. If you're still at 25 years and you haven't talked about divorce, chances are likely that both people are actually not totally tapped in. But if you want a liberated, awake, alive relationship, being able to have an honest conversation about the challenges that are intrinsic and sharing a bed and sharing a life with another person and having children. If you can't talk about those things, you will put barriers into the relationship. When you're honest, you build trust, it builds safety. And to be able to be in a long-term relationship, you need to be able to be totally yourself. And if you can't be totally yourself, including not sharing your concerns, they start to get suppressed. And that suppression creates entropy in a relationship. It's like static in the signal if you were listening to a transistor radio. So it's like you're not quite on the channel. You have to work harder to hear what actually is being said. When you have entropy, it means that it's unpotentiated energy. And when you're trying to be energetically clean, and I have a very high value of energetic hygiene in my relationships, when you have energetic clarity and energetic cleanliness, that means that there's a room for you to be honest and that your honesty doesn't risk killing the relationship. Your honesty only can bring a relationship closer, but it has to be clean. It can't be blamey. It can't be lacking in personal responsibility. You need to be able to say the thing that's functioning as the barrier so that that energy gets unlocked and can go and serve the purpose that it needs to serve. <laughs>